So good evening students, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. Today's problem has been sent to me on Instagram via Aditya and this is uh, a tough nut to crack. Okay, I am going to read the question for you and then we are going to extract all the datas one by one and we'll see how the object looks both in the front view and in the top view and what is your approach going to be? That is something which is very very essential here we go let me just uh, read the problem for you so we have a square lamina a b c d so what's a square lamina imagine a square plate okay now imagine the thickness to be negligible that my friend is a square lamina the sides are 30 mm each <coughs> resting on one corner c corner c in hp so out of the four corners a b c d c is going to stay in contact with hp what about the other three corners i uh, have they been lifted up in the air yes <laughs> now read this its plane is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp now you see plane is at an angle of 45 degrees to the hp uh, a small reminder to all of you whenever you solve problems on projection of planes please note Try to find out the surface inclination. Here, the surface inclination is 45 degrees to the HP. Again, surface inclination is implemented in step number 2. So, for step number 1, you are going to assume that it is absolutely parallel to the HP or it is, it is entirely in the HP. Right? And then you have to think from where you can see the true shape. Right? That is the entire idea such that its diagonal AB is parallel to HP. Again, one more condition. And inclined at 30 degree to the VP. Another condition. Draw its projection when the corner D is towards the VP. Another condition. And 15 mm in front of it. <laughs> there are so many things. <clears throat> so, I'll be making some points. Please make a note of it. Write them down. Do it. Number one. Resting on corner C in HP. That is your point number one. Resting on corner C in HP. Point number two. Surface inclined at 45 to the HP. Right. Theta surface is equal to 45. Theta is for angle made with HP. Phi is for angle made with VP. Such that the diagonal AB is parallel to HP. Write down. Third point. Diagonal AB parallel to HP. And in third point only, right, and inclined at 30 degrees to the VP. Phi AB is equal to 30 degrees. Draw the projection when the corner D is towards VP. Write the next point. Corner D is 15 mm away from VP. In front of VP. Write it down. Corner D is 15 mm in front of VP. So these are the conditions which have been given in the question. Now, if you have written down all the conditions, now you have to put tick marks. There is a checklist. This is your final orientation. And based on this, you have to make your, this is your final front view. And this is going to be your final top view. Okay. Take a look now. Number one, sur surface is inclined. Yes. The surface is making an angle of 45 degrees with this horizontal plane. Okay, sir. Uh, secondly, it was given in the question that corner C is in the HP. As you can see, it is in the HP. Thirdly, diagonal AB is parallel to HP. As you can see, point B and point A. Both of them, point B and A are at the same height or at the same distance from HP, which indicates that it is parallel to HP. And then in the final point, we have been asked that point D is towards the VP. Yes, it is towards the VP and away or in front 15 mm point d is in front of the vp at a distance of 15 millimeters so all the conditions are perfectly reflecting in our final step three so based on this you have to create the front view and the top view here it is how do you approach again what is the object you have sir it is a square lamina okay as i've said Whenever doing problems based on projection of planes, go for surface inclination. Here, you can see that the surface is at 45 degrees to HP. 
and surface inclination takes place in step two so for step one we are going to slam this entire square lamina onto the ground onto the hp or you can also say that we are going to keep it parallel to the hp right and now we are going to ask a question to ourselves from where can we see the true shape of this plane surface of this square lamina the answer is sir we can see the true shape from the top again two questions arise whether this is the right approach or this is the right approach what is your answer going to be if you have read the question carefully it has been clearly stated that one corner c has to stay grounded so if the corner is in the ground if the corner stays in contact with hp this should be your correct option this is how you have to begin with the top view okay i think i have discussed a similar question in the past uh this one looked a little complicated that is why i took it okay especially for the step number three right had the edge been in contact with the hp then this would have been the correct option however that is the corner which is in contact with hp therefore we are going to go with this as our top view and now let us start making the projections so this is uh, if i'm not wrong this is precisely problem number 19 in the series of videos on projection of planes and uh, yeah let's go ahead ah, square okay 30 by 30 square here it is is this going to be your top view no sir how is your top view going to look sir it is going to look something like this right very simple since it's a top view therefore uh, give it some thickness and now we can provide the names and by the way you can draw the diagonals also please note that this corner will be in the ground will stay in the ground okay and this will reflect in your step number two don't worry c this is a b this is c d this is how i have uh, i'm going to approach uh, here we go diagonal c d diagonal a b what is this top front view going to look like so it is going to be something of this sort okay now straight line is what you'll observe from the front i'm just trying to save my time okay in step number two in step number two students please note that uh, what you need to do is you have to i mean you have to recreate this line here but at an angle of 45 degrees that is in step 2 we are going for surface inclination okay here we go copy i'm sure you guys can do the recreation work very easily at an angle of 45 degrees and now in this c point it is in contact with x y that is it is in hp a dash b dash right at the center d dash is over here please note that this has been recreated the only difference being the orientation the angle is 45 degrees if you want i can put the angle here it is 45 degrees wonderful now when you look at the object from the top would you still be able to see the true shape no sir you will no longer be able to see the true shape however you'll see a squeezed pachka hua dikhai dega in hindi this it is what we call okay squeezed uh, shape where is the center 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 here it is let me trim all of these parts okay now c vertical c horizontal so this is going to be the new location for c similarly this is horizontal a and this is vertical a the intersection will give you the new location of the top view of a in top view let's do it we 
डन नाउ कनेक्ट ओके सो फार सो गुड स्टेप वन एंड टू डन टेन मिनट्स आर ओवर आई वांट टू फिनिश दिस इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट्स मैक्स नाउ इन स्टेप नंबर थ्री विल एक्चुअली गो फॉर inclining the diagonal ab as you can see in such a way plane is at an angle of 45 degrees to hp such that the diagonal ab is parallel to hp you can still see a and b are at the same height which indicates that this diagonal ab is parallel to hp okay however if you try to measure in the top view you can see that this diagonal ab is making an angle of 90 degrees with the vp In the top view, the angle made is 90 degree. Therefore, in reality, the angle made with VP vertical plane is going to be 90 degrees. So far, so good. What we want is we want this angle made by AB with the XY line to be equal to 30 degrees. When you implement that, you will automatically get the angle made with VP is equal to 30. How do you wish to accomplish this? Now. what i'll do is let me just get rid of this i'll basically draw a line first of all a simple line let's say a line of 50 mm uh, at an angle of uh, 30 degrees okay but in the clockwise sense this is what i'll do i'll write down the angle don't worry you have to recreate this entire top view from step 2 into step 3 can you do this <laughs> okay uh the first thing that i'll do is i'll simply make a copy okay i'll also make the diagonals right you can do this very well you 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 simply what do one thing let me draw a rectangle for all of you and uh, let me give it a different color okay let me move the rectangle let's say right now what i'll do is uh you you see this edge of the rectangle and this ab both of them are parallel so if you keep this edge at an angle of 30 degrees automatically the diagonal also will set itself at 30 degree angle that is exactly what we'll do so yeah this is what i was asking this is exactly what i was saying right so you can see this a is over here c is right at the center of this c then there is b here i'm sure you have now understood what is going to happen okay let's do the formalities right we are almost done and uh, we can also ah oh, 30 degrees making drawings in autocad is so very satisfying and yes if you've got any other doubt in any topic literally any topic in engineering drawing send it to me consider me an authority <laughs> anyway so uh, you can see this is vertical for a this is horizontal for a this so this is the exact location of a dash in front view right so let me just copy paste done so students we are done with this question just need to 
Yeah. Done. Let me just show this to you. Z enter W enter and let me give a window to this so that you'll get more clarity. This is essentially the final drawing. Okay. If you want, I can list out the condition. Surface is inclined at an angle of 45 degree. Corner C is in the ground. Surface is inclined at 45 degree. The diagonal AB, since like A and B, both of them, A dash and B dash are at the same height, which means that diagonal AB is parallel to HP. However, diagonal AB is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the VP. So all the conditions which were given in the question have been respectfully implemented. Okay. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you have got any doubts or queries, write them down in the comment section below. And if you really believe that this content has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, feel free to like the video and share it with as many friends as you can. And also subscribe to my channel. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care and have a nice day.